Hi, my name is Gareth Pronovost and I'm an Airtable and Zapier consultant. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can embed a URL or a link inside an email that you trigger from Airtable. So, quick rewind here, you know, when we're sending an email and we're sharing a link inside of it, we don't want to just paste a big long URL in the middle of our email. It looks clunky, it's not super professional, it's way better if we can embed that in the email text itself. So that's what we're gonna be working on here. If that's of interest to you, definitely stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, folks, so without further ado, let's jump on into my screen and uh, take a look at what we're doing here. So um, basically, this is what we wanna send. We wanna send a templated email like this that says, this is an email example, the embedded link is here. So let me really quickly just, uh, you know, I'll use my uh, Airtable Consulting landing page as the example here. So I'm gonna just copy this URL and uh, get rid of that page now. And if I wanted to embed this in an email, so, you know, the, the, less, the least professional way would just be to paste that URL in the email, not ideal. So if I get rid of that and instead I highlight the part where I'm going to insert that link. If I were to do this manually, I would do one of two things. If I'm in Gmail, I can come down here and click insert link, or I can hit control K, which you see is the shortcut, and it's gonna open up this part that says, where do you want this hyperlink to go? Where is this URL? I can paste that URL here, I click OK, and now as you see when you hover over this, uh, that is going to the link that we want them to go to. So now, that's how we do it manually, right? And so what we wanna do is duplicate this process in an Airtable and Zapier integration. So let's jump into that. All right, so first things first, let's get into this Airtable base. This is a really simple base. We've got a name, we've got an email. Now right now I've got my personal email here so that uh, I'm not, I actually wanna test this, right? So I want it to come to my email, so that's the reason for that and then I've included the link here. Now I've got a button here that's gonna say, you know, do you wanna send the email? And this is just a checkbox in Airtable. And the idea is that when I click this, then this is going to trigger the integration in Zapier. So the first step of understanding how this works is when we set up a Zapier integration, we can say that we want it to trigger on a new record in a view. So I have a, spe a special view built called send email. And this view, as you see here, is filtered so that it only looks at records where send email is checked. So that means when we come back here to the master view or the grid view and we select send email, let's say we're, sending, we're ready to send this email to Wyatt Earp, we click send and what happens? Nothing on this screen, but on this view here, now that record is going to appear in this view. Right? And so, the, and the reason for that is the filter because it is now filtering that this email has been uh, checked to send. Great. So we've got a couple other ones here that we're gonna test in a moment, but let's get this set up and built with Wyatt Earp. So uh, jumping in here, let's go ahead and create a new zap. And the trigger for this is gonna be that Airtable new record in view. So we're gonna select that. And uh, let's go ahead and make sure that our Airtable is, uh, is all set up. Yes, it is. Great. And what's the name of this base? I've called it the HTML email example. So let's see where that is. And if there's only one table. This is a very simple base. And the view is that send email view. Now it's important that we get this right uh, because that is the trigger that we want. So let's set up continue. And let's see if it's pulling in that information so far. So yes, Wyatt Earp and the special link that we've pasted there, perfect. Uh, the email, uh, of course, is my test email for now. So that looks good, let's go ahead and continue. All right, so now we need to add that action step. Now, as I showed you earlier in the video, I uh, use Gmail for my business. If you use Office 365, same thing, okay? Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and pick the action step of Gmail in this case, and we wanna send an email. So let's go ahead and do that and click that, and we're just gonna test this. Okay, great, so it's all connected, everything's working. Now we need to build the email. How do we wanna send it? Well, 
First thing we're gonna do is pull in the email of the person in the table. That's right there. If we wanna CC or BCC, we can. Who are we sending from? It's gonna send from uh, my own Gmail, so I don't need to make changes unless I want to. Uh, I can put my name in here or give yourself a nickname or, or anything you want, really. Uh, if you wanna change the reply to address, you can. Um, and then of course the subject. So let's just say uh, this is the email test. And here is where we're gonna start working on that special embed code, right? It comes in the form of HTML. So don't freak out if you're not uh, you know, a pro HTML coder, that is okay. This is a very simple thing to Google and, uh, and just test. I personally am not a big um, HTML coder myself, but I can certainly you know, find that answer on Google and, uh, and figure it out for, for uh, the purpose of Zapier integrations. So let's just say, uh, let's go back to that email and we're gonna just copy the, uh, the text here with the exception of the end. And so now what we need, so all we're saying is this is an example email, the embedded link is here. And now here's where the code is gonna come in. First thing we're gonna do is open up a bracket here with that open, I don't even know what that's called, less than sign. Uh, so it's gonna be that and A, lowercase a. And here we're gonna type href equals open, and then a double quote. And now this part is where we're going to paste in that, uh, that URL that we're going to. So I'm just accessing that website again and grabbing my URL from the, uh, the uh, search bar up there. All right, so back in the email for Zapier. And again, this is all without a space. So it's open, open caret A and then one space here. And then all of this, href equals double quote, uh, there's no space yet. Now I'm gonna paste in that uh, URL that we're headed to, and I'm gonna close the quotes, and then close the uh, bracket. And now we are gonna put in the text of what we want it to say. In this case, I wanna say the word here, right? The embedded link is here, and when you click the word here, it goes to the URL. So now I'm gonna write whatever that word is here for this example. Then again, open, slash, A, close, and that's it. So let's take a look, oh, I do want a period on here, but I don't want the period to be part of the URL, so I'm gonna put it outside of that. So again, just a real quick recap of what we're looking at here. We've got the, uh, the symbol, so this, this symbol or this symbol and the A is what's telling it, hey, we've got a URL uh, that we're gonna link to here. And, uh, and then the href equals open quotes, and then the, uh, the URL that we paste in there and then close those quotes, that is the URL that it's going to go to when they click. And then the last part of that, after that, uh, that extra closed bracket, the last part of that is the actual word or words that we're going to include for the hyperlink. So that's the text of our email body. All right, so let's just test this out uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this off here. So continue, let's go ahead and send that test to Gmail. And okay, so the test happened successfully. So let's jump into our uh, inbox and take a look and see if we've received it yet. Here we go. And there it is, that looks perfect. So this is an example, an email example. The embedded link is here. Let's click on the link and see what opens up. Sure enough, it took us to where we intended to go. So that is, is just perfect. So jumping back into Zapier then, uh, you know, definitely take a look at this code right here. Uh, oh, and one other thing that I would want to uh, change here, of course, before finalizing this Zap, I want to see if, can I change this URL uh, just by using um, the information that comes from Airtable. Because right now I've pasted in the URL in terms of text, but I wanna use a dynamically changing field that uh, changes depending on what data is in Airtable. So let me delete this. I'm keeping the quotes, but I'm deleting the text. And here I'm going to go to the link that came from Airtable. 
All right, so let's go back into email. I'm gonna delete this old one, and I'm gonna test this zap one more time and see if I can still get it to, uh, to fire again. Where's my retest? There it is. <laughs> so send that and, uh, and let's take a look. Okay, so it's sent successfully. Let's get our email going. Okay, here it just popped in and the embedded link is here. Great, okay, so that is working. So now, let's suppose instead of going to um, my Airtable Consulting page, I wanted to go to my home page instead uh, on this link. Let's go ahead and test that. So let me trash this email and we're gonna go back into the base and I can paste in a different link for these folks if I wanna send them to a different link in their email. Let's go ahead and uh, work on Doc Holiday here. So we're gonna click send email, which of course we know then will bring Doc Holiday into this view. And that's the view where the Zapier integration is looking. So let's go ahead and test this step. We've got a new record. I'm gonna trust that that's Doc Holiday without looking. Big, big moment of truth here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and retest this step and send it to our Gmail. S mission success, let's check the email as it comes in. Perfect, all right, so that's still working. Uh, what we didn't do, of course, is test that it is in fact going to Doc Holiday because we never put a name on this email, which of course we could do, uh, but really quickly jumping up here, we can open this up and see that it did in fact pull in that uh, right data for the new uh, step. So anyway, this is, this is how you do it, folks. If you wanna get set up on sending an email on an automatic basis, uh, these are the steps you will need. So just revisiting that, uh, you can build that uh, unique checkbox and then of course create a special view with a filter that is taking that uh, checkbox only, so it's not looking at those records where a checkbox isn't marked. That's, a, that's critical step number one and two. And then the last part, of course, is getting that URL embedded, and that's where you need to use that short snip of HTML code. All right, as always, I hope that was super helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video and got some valuable stuff from it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't wanna miss out on future content like this, be sure to click subscribe to this channel. Of course, as well, if you have any custom work that could use a little bit of extra help on, uh, please don't hesitate, reach out to me. I'll include a link to my uh, calendar below where you can schedule a free consultation. And in the meantime, best of luck as you continue to grow your empire.